Okay, we're at Fort Lauderdale Airport and we're at National on a Friday afternoon. Let's take a look at the executive aisle. We got a Kia compact SUV. We got a Nissan Titan pickup truck. A Dodge pickup truck. Ram 1500. Uh, Jeep Compass. Uh, Chevy Traverse. Uh, Chevy Malibu. Looks like a Nissan Altima, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, one of the older ones, another East Nissan Altima, and a Chrysler 300 uh, S. Actually, this one's kind of nice. I don't think I've seen one with a white interior before. Let's have a, have a look. A lot of these have some mileage on them. Yeah, 30,000 30, miles. And no sunroof on this one. And we'll go over to the other side of the executive aisle. We got another Grand Cherokee here. Uh, let's take a quick look and see. Looks like it might be a, a limited. Maybe not. Yeah, it is a limited. Uh, the side of it, we got a VW Passat. Over here we got a Honda. You don't see Hondas very often. We got a Honda CRV. Uh, you can see over there, Premier Selection is totally empty. Uh, there's that VW Passat, a Honda CRV. Uh, I got a Chevy Blazer, Ford Explorer. Somebody's taking that Ford Explorer. We got Dodge Ram. Um, we've got a Ford Excursion. Somebody's taking that. Cars are going pretty fast here. Uh, got a compact Kia SUV. Mitsubishi SUV. Hyundai. And we got another Hyundai. This looks like a Kona. And we got something coming in here. Uh, looks like an Audi Q5. Not sure where that's going to park. And we got another uh, Jeep coming in here. And let's take a quick look at the uh, Emerald Isle with National. We got a uh, VW. Not much here, there's just a couple more further down. Uh, we got a small uh, Ford SUV, and we got a Toyota, looks like it might be a RAV4. Let's take a quick look here. Oh, sorry, this, this actually might be new. This is a Toyota Corolla Cross. Yeah, it looks a little bit smaller than a RAV4. This is interesting. Let's see how many miles are on this here. Uh, 276 miles. Not sure when the lights are not on in here. Looks like somebody's taking that VW. There's a compact SUV down there, another VW Passat, uh, Nissan Frontier, and I think that's pretty much it. You can see the rest of the Emerald Isle. The is empty over here. Let's take a quick tour over at uh, Enterprise. Uh, looks like they have some cars in the exotic collection over at Enterprise here. We got a Porsche Cayenne. Uh, got a Chevy C7 convertible. And a Volvo Polestar. The other side we got a um, 7 Series BMW, another Porsche Cayenne. Let's take a walk over. Looks like somebody's taking that one. Seven series, of course, can. And somebody was asking about the interior on these. I know this is Fort Lauderdale. I'm not sure if this looks like it might be locked. Oh no, it's actually not locked. Let's take a quick peek in here. It's just it's really nice. It's got the big moonroof. Uh, how many miles are on here? 16. So this one's got. Oh sorry. Yeah, this one's got 16,000 miles. It looks like the interior is in pretty good shape. At least for this one. And there's that 7 Series, and we got the Volvo and a Corvette. Uh, 
let's take a look at, uh, looks like this is where they got all the convertibles parked over here at Enterprise. The convertibles in the two-door sporty cars. Uh, we've got a couple base model Camaro convertibles. Uh, actually, that one's a hardtop. we got a Miata. Uh, we've got a Chevy, or sorry, a Dodge Challenger. Another Chevy Camaro. Ford Mustang convertible. And we got a 5-liter Mustang GT convertible. Uh, Mustang convertible. I don't see that green color very often. Uh, lots of Mustang convertibles. Another Miata. These are all at Enterprise, uh, but I'm sure if you had a convertible reservation with National, they'd probably pull one from here. Uh, Jeep Wrangler and uh, another Camaro convertible. Uh, they're, start they're starting to get some new Mustang convertibles in, but uh, pretty much all of these Camaro convertibles are 2002, sorry, 2020. And they're all going to have 20, 30,000, some are even in the 50,000 mile range. This one's got uh, how many miles we got on here. Yeah, yeah, this one's got 54,000 miles on it. Uh, just kind of quickly go down through Enterprise here. A couple SUVs. Uh, if we go to the other side of Enterprise here, in case anybody's interested. We've got, uh, looks like a Camry. A couple smaller cars on this side here. Uh, Chevy and Palos. Looks like the full size. Uh, nothing too exciting over here. here, another BMW, a couple more BMWs, so return lanes over there behind it, and a Kia K5 parked over here again, this is all Enterprise. Okay, this uh, Kia Nero Electric just arrived in the regular uh, Emerald Club Isle, it's got about 26,000 miles on it, these are all electric, maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think on a full charge you maybe get around uh, 200 miles. I haven't driven one yet. I wouldn't mind trying to drive one. A friend of mine has driven these quite a few times. Uh, 2,600 miles. And it's kind of dark in here, but you can kind of see the interior a little bit. There's a shifter. A uh, good option for somebody not uh, driving too far or has uh, charging while they're traveling, especially at today's gas prices. Easiest way to spot these is the, uh, the front grille and also on the back as the, uh, the electric magic. Okay, another location has uh, this Fort Lauderdale again, and they've got an Emerald Pub VIP section. Uh, with the Nissan here, it looks like Ford Explorer and uh, one of these Jeep Grand Cherokee L's. Looks like the Explorer and the Cherokee are brand new. Uh, let's take a quick look at the Cherokee L. And just looking to see if it's a limited here. It's kind of parked up close. Yeah, yeah, it's a limited. See if it's locked or not. Yeah, it's locked, so I can't show you the inside, but it's got a big sunroof in it. Most of these are pretty new, and I'm guessing this uh, Explorer is probably also a limited. Looks like somebody uh, cleaned up the tires and rims nicely. Uh, is this, this, I'm guessing these are all locked. Yeah, this one's locked too. And another limited. Not sure why the Ultima is probably just parked here for overflow. I doubt that's for VIP. Uh, we've got a Ford Edge going in here with the new screen. Uh, it's probably fairly new. Uh, this is sort of the National Alamo section where they just park, park vehicles by class. We've got another RAV4 here, another of these uh, Ford Edge. Uh, and let's take a look. Actually, might as well take a quick look at Alamo over here. Somebody's leaving in a Mustang convertible. Got a bunch more over here. They got a Dodge Challenger, the base model down there. These look like all EcoBoost convertibles. Yeah. 
Yeah, and another Camaro convertible, a couple more Mustang convertibles. Um, and this is interesting, Alamo Fun in the Sun. Toyota Supra, I haven't seen that before. Uh, we've got an Audi Q3 or Q5, I think this is probably Q3, judging by the size of it. Oh no, it's Q5, Michigan plates on it. And let's take a look at this Super. I wouldn't mind driving one of these. I don't know if it's going to be locked or not. I'm guessing this is probably pretty new. Let's see if we got it locked here. I can show you the interior. Oh, it's not. Okay, I can show you the interior. And this has actually got some miles on 5,373 miles. This would be a lot of fun. If I can find somebody off task. 